when you start approaching the season, you will discover that the demons that walk in that corridor will begin to know that you are coming. And what they will do is that they will fight you out of that realm. In this video, you will know the sources of all diseases. Do well to listen and learn. God bless you. You will not appreciate the power of God until you know that there are other counter powers walking on the face of the earth. It is naivety to imagine, conceive, or contemplate that the things happening around your life are coincidences. Nothing happening on the face of the earth is a coincidence. Nothing happening on the face of the earth is by luck or chance. Everything you see happening around you is deliberately occasioned by powers. Whether good or evil. When you find people sick, please don't make the mistake of blaming the mosquitoes. If you do that, you are just being deceived. The mosquito itself is under a law called the bondage of corruption to transmit malaria. The mosquito is not necessarily the causative agent of sickness. If powers are completely addressed, you will be shocked that mosquitoes did not have the intention of transmitted malaria because mosquitoes were existing in Eden and we never heard of malaria. It is the emergence of powers that brought about sickness. This is why when Jesus healed the sick, the Bible never said the sickness was caused by any other thing apart from the devil. Every agency that transmits sickness today is under a law called the bondage of corruption. In Acts 10 38, the Bible revealed to us, it said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. When you read the gospel, Jesus healed people who had accidents. Jesus healed people who were attacked by criminals. Jesus healed people who were born sick. Jesus healed people who were victims of natural disaster. The devil never attributed their oppression to the natural causes. Because everything happening has its root in the spirit. This is why the subject of power becomes important. You don't walk through life hoping things will work. You walk through life powering your way. If you don't carry power, the devil will use you for experiments. And the experiments of the devil ends in one of three things. It either ends in making you poor or it ends in destroying you or it ends in killing you. In John chapter 10 from verse 10, the Bible said the devil came for one reason. He said for to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And so if you don't carry a counter power, the devil will do one of these three things to you. Either he steals your health, or steals your favor, or steals your wisdom, or he will outrightly destroy you, or he will kill you. Because that's what the devil came to do. In fact, the Bible speaking, in Luke chapter 11 verse 21, it says, if a strong man keeps his house, he said his goods are in safety, except a stronger man than him comes. That man will first of all bind him. Then he will tile him. Then he will take what he possesses. And so when the devil torments people with sickness, it's actually a revelation of people who are bound. Because if he didn't come, they would have kept their health. If he didn't come, 
they would have kept their possession. If he didn't come, they would have kept all that God has given to them. The reason they lost it is because the devil came. And the reason the coming of the devil is consequential is because the devil didn't come speaking English. The devil came speaking power. And so the only way you can stop the devil is for you also to lay hold on power. When power jump power, the stronger power will prevail. The Bible said in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8, he said the devil have become so bold because he has done this thing for many years. And he said now he is just he is not just bold but he is prowling. He is roaming about. He is searching and he is audaciously moving about like a roaring lion. Now when you read the Bible the only true lion we know is the lion of the tribe of Judah. How come the devil has become bold and is now masquerading like a lion? Intimidating people. The reason is because men don't carry power. The moment you carry power, there is something they write on your head in demonic realm. Don't touch. If you touch, you are in trouble. So demons know who to touch because the devil doesn't have enough resources to waste. And so when you find a man who is sick, it's because they have not seen power on him in the spirit. If you find a man who is defeated, it's because they have not seen power on him in the spirit. The moment you carry power, if you are coming, the devil knows. The Bible spoke about Jesus. For 30 years, Jesus was moving about. No demon saluted him. No demon recognized him. But after 40 days of prayer and fasting, he said he returned in the power of the spirit. The moment Jesus entered the synagogue, every demon began to shout, why have you come before your time? The question is, was that the first day he entered the synagogue? No. But that was the first day he decided to come with power. And so the reason demons play around your health, the reason demons play around your family is because you have not written your signature in the spirit that you too carry power. The day you announce power in the spirit, you will not be the one pursued by the devil. You will be the one pursuing the devil. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends and also subscribe to this channel. See you in our next video. God bless you.